Hello everybody and welcome to another video for Jurassic World Evolution 2. We've had a good run on these, haven't we? But um, today we're going to be talking about a bit more DLC speculation. And this is probably the last one um, for a while because we've pretty much covered most ideas for Jurassic World Evolution 2 and Planet Zoo uh, from now on. Um, <clears throat> it's probably... Most of the species that people want are um, going to be in these pack ideas. But um, we'll find out. So the recent marine species pack gave us four new species. The Shonisaurus, the Dunkleosteus, Nothosaurus, and Archelon. All those species are useful in their own ways. But there are still various species still wanted for the game. Particularly the marine species. Like, people will still really want the megalodon and i <coughs> pardon me jeez <laughs> yeah but just been working it in here so let's start with our first pack idea So we're starting with the Cenozoic expansion with Smilodon um, from Camp Cretaceous, the Woolly Mammoth, a staple of the Cenozoic era, Megatherium, and of course Megalodon. I just wanted to get this one out of the way, so this would um, include these four species as well as a um, ca campaign scenario where we're sort of learning how to contain both dinosaurs and prehistoric mammals and other creatures of the more recent extinctions so that's probably my that's my idea of what could happen there um, um, next is the tertiary species pack so this is eocene to uh pliocene, pliocene. so this one i included um mostly eocene i can i can say so we've got the little leptictidium of the eocene Basilosaurus for the lagoons, Arsinovatherium, and Andrusarchus. I know it's a completely Eocene species pack, but I didn't know if I wanted Parasaurotherium in here or not. But, um, I mean, it would be great. And I, I could probably trade it at, trade Arsinovatherium or Leptictinium out for it. Or even Andrusarchus, even. But, um, yeah, so that's just my idea for this. Uh, for Quaternary. Uh, we have Arctodus, uh, the, the Dodo, the Megaloceros, and the Elasmotherium. So the Quaternary Era is basically Pleistocene to now. So that's why we have the, the giant short-faced bear, um, aka Arctodus, um, as well as Megaloceros, Elasmotherium, and the iconic Dodo. Next is our Asian Carnival Pack including various carnivorous species of the Asian continent. First off is Cat Cretaceous' car uh, Carnotaurus, Tarbosaurus, uh, the Yangchuanosaurus, the Microraptor, and India's Rajasaurus. So, okay, for the herbivore pack, we've got Isisaurus, Microceratus, Gigantoraptor, and Shantungosaurus. Gigantoraptor would be an omnivore, um, and Shantungosaurus would probably be our largest of hadrosaurs because it is a giant. A hybrids pack. Um, now, I've only got two ideas here because I would love to see what Frontier would come up with themselves. In the free update, um, idealistically, we would get the returning hybrids of Spinoraptor, Stegoceratops, and Ankylodicus, as well as Cat Cretaceous' Spinoceratops, and maybe even fan favorite Ultimosaurus. Um, both of which would fit in a pack like this, and I would love to see what Frontier would be able to do with their own ideas for hybrids. Prehistoric Flying Species Pack is basically the out-of-water equivalent to the Prehistoric Marine Species Pack. So we've got various species of Hatsigopteryx, Argentavis, 
Silura Soravis, a flying lizard of the Permian, and Meganeura, which um, would become the second oldest creature in the game if this would become a reality. Permian species. So this is basically taking what we have with Dimetrodon um, and Lystrosaurus, although I think Lystrosaurus is more early Triassic than Permian, and putting it into a pack. So we've got Inostrancevia, the Scutosaurus, a Staminosuchus, and Helicoprion, or, or as I like to call it, the Sawmouth Shark. So now we have our North American carnivores. So basically we've got continental packs for carnivores and herbivores, as there are so many creatures on each continent that could potentially make it into the game. So first off, we have uh, Fallen Kingdom's Cut Carnivore of Teratophonius, um, the largest raptor of Utah Raptor, Segisaurus, and a classic Jurassic Park dinosaur, and the giant crocodilian Dinosuchus. In terms of herbivores, we have Lambiosaurus, Ineosaurus, the Cut Peloroplites, and Nanosaurus, a species from the Jurassic Park novels. For our Paleozoic species pack, we go mostly to the oceans for Megalograptus, Camaroceros, or the giant Orthocone, and to the land for Adaphosaurus and Anteosaurus. We go on to Oceana, so this is basically the region that includes Australia, Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, all those sort of places. We have Megalania, Thylacolio, aka the marsupial lion. Harse Eagle or Harpagornis, and Eumunosaurus as a, um, I think it's Jurassic, a Jurassic um, Plesiosaur. On to the herbivores, we have Deprotodon, which is a giant marsupial species um, about the same size as a rhino. The Rotosaurus, one of Australia's most famous sauropods. Procoptodon, a, a giant macropod. Um, related to kangaroos, wallabies, and quokkas. And lastly, Quantosaurus. Um, another small, dryosaurus looking creature. For Africa, we have the Deltadromius, the Alaphrosaurus, which is thought to have lived on Isla Nubla, the Alanqua, as another as Darkid, and the iconic Sarcosuchus. For Africa's herbivores, we have Massospondylus, Losothosaurus, another species believed to have lived on Isla Nubla, Dinotherium, and the cute and cuddly, well, I don't know about cuddly, but the cute Simosuchus, of which, for those who have seen this channel for a while, um, you will remember from Prehistoric Planet 2, Islands. South American carnivores, we have Ostroraptor, which is more of a Piscivore, but I kind of want to make room for other Piscivores in the pack. Um, Megaraptor, um, which is a Megaraptoran and not a Dromaeosaur like Ostroraptor. Mapusaurus, um, related to Giganotosaurus. And Fasolosuchus, which is the largest um, of that sort of group, of that group that includes animals like Postosuchus. Um, would be a great addition as just this huge crocodilian um, reptile that just lives on land for the, most of its life. South American herbivores, we have Musaurus of, from the Lost World novel, Argentinosaurus, often regarded as one of the largest herbivores to have ever existed, Thacernosaurus, for those um, who watch Prehistoric Planet, you will recognize this desert dweller, and Didacurus, the giant club-tailed armadillo. Now we're moving over to Europe, where we have the iconic Torvosaurus, the highly requested Concavenator, the Piscivorous Ramparinchus, and the giant Pliosaurus. Um, on to herbivores, we have the tiny Zalmoxes, Miragaya, Platyosaurus of the Triassic, and little Hypsilophodon. Basically, just, I've been wanting to fill out the small herbivore line. Because we don't really have too many small herbivores that are just like hiding in the grass and all that sort of stuff. We need more of those in particular. The Piscivore species pack. 
where we have Ichthyovenator, Hesperornis, Zephactinus, and the Pteridalstro. Basically, it looks like a flying toothbrush. And finally, the late Triassic pack to end things off with Eoraptor, Patinosaurus, the iconic Postosuchus, and the Symbospondylus. For those who didn't pick up, I basically squeezed in the whole of um, BBC Sea Monsters into here because it would just be great to recreate all of that. We got, we got Doug the Osteus and, uh, and Othosaurus as well. So we got a couple of things that um, really reference that show or mini series, but it was a great mini series nonetheless. And Archelon too. Yeah, so that is um, the last of the DLC speculation. Um, I wanted to go a bit quick because I didn't really want to spend too much time on it because I know that the previous ones are of um, considerable length. But um, this will probably be some, what, some of the last Jurassic World Evolution co 2 content for a little while until the next DLC. Um, but I might, I'm thinking of doing another park. Um, we very much potentially could do another park. Just got to think of what we could do for that. Um, other than that, though, um, I'm, I've got an idea to... Uh, rank the species that are in the game um, including the new marine species pack species Shonisaurus, Archelon, Dunkleosteus and Nothosaurus um, it will all be based on my personal opinion but um, yeah look forward to that and yeah like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more we are on our way to 1000 subscribers almost to 500 um, I will really appreciate it if um, for those who are watching who have not subscribed, if you were to click that subscribe button to keep updated on all the content coming to the channel. Um, of course, I make content when I can. And um, yeah, for more videos like this, um, do leave a comment below if you want to see more. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.